Hello and welcome to this Canali Travel Cup highlight show special from round four. Later on we're out to Kangaroo Point Rovers versus Western Spirit. But first of all, it's Holland Park Hawks from Capital Two versus UQFC from the Trophy Superstore Premier League. La Petite pushes the ball through. Robinson attempts to defend and shield the ball over the line. He can't. And that gives Luke Proctor the chance to score the opener for Holland Park. And Duncan Short, the UQ keeper, not happy there. Watts down the line. Ball's played square, straight into the Holland Park player there from Urat. Carr played back. Here's Carr again. Proctor, sliding ball through. And Short gets there before Baird can get his shot away. Corner here to Holland Park. Headed away. Falls for Rasmussen. Mark Rasmussen, narrowly wide there. He's recently transferred from Albany Creek to Holland Park. Turn there by Hussey. Oh, and a heavy challenge comes in. Referee initially allows play on, blows the whistle. Not happy here was the UQ player for that challenge from Holland Park's Marv Bratton. Looks to be Jeremy Griffin who's taken exception to it. The referee talking to both players. And both go into his book. Free kick here to UQ on the edge of the box. Shot comes in, parried away by Darville. La Petite. Got Rasmussen on the inside, goes to the outside. Players brought down, referee rules no penalty on that occasion. UQ on the counter now. Let's see if we can take another look at that. Looked to be a fair challenge. Minimal contact if there was any at all. UQ now looking to threaten. Hussey takes the shot. And Darville makes the great save. Played down by Buen. Here's Dan Smith and Kuzuyoma. Clears to safety. Garcia. Garcia on a long run now. Surely he's got to go to Rasmussen. He does. Rasmussen. Just a heavy touch there for Rasmussen. Allows Short to get in there first. Uni again on the counter. Hussey makes his way into the box. Confronted there by Buen. Saved there by Darville. And UQ can't scramble in time to get that opening goal. Corner comes in and Buen over the bar. Carr tries his shot and coming up to the hour we're still goalless here between Holland Park and UQ this match was originally scheduled to be UQ's home match but due to a lack of lighting they've uh, had to switch it out to here to Holland Park and now we've just seen this challenge from Ra Mark Rasmussen who's having quite the chat with the referee Holland Park free kick. Oh, try to be glanced on. And again a free kick in a similar position. Lofted high. Holland Park looking for the corner. Carr. Oh, lovely little ball here through. Sliding through the UQ defence and the openers there for Holland Park. On 80 minutes. Well, the flood of possession has finally paid toll and Alistair Baird gets Holland Park on the scoreboard 1-0 with 10 minutes to go.
Harville picks the ball up, goes long. Very long. Here's Procty, chips short. And Holland Park now have a 2-0 lead. Well, it seems their cup dream is going to remain alive. Luke Proctor picks the ball up on the edge of the box, spotted short off his line, and a great finish there. Here's La Petite. All in for Smith. Now here's Luke Carr. Out for La Petite. UQ, desperate defence at the moment to try and stop another. La Petite with the cross in for Luke Carr. And Luke Carr, that pretty much seals it now for Holland Park. 3 0. The floodgates have opened. La Petite for Luke Carr. And the Geordie Messi makes no mistake. Proctor. Oh, well, UQ short caught out the back now. Cameron Smith. He misses his shot to get on the scoreboard. But here he is again. Cameron Smith picks it up on the edge of the box. And that's it. Holland Park will go through to round five. UQ obviously had to try and get some goals to try and get back into this match. Caught short in defence. And now it's 4-0. Nakai. And that is full time. Holland Park Hawks cause an upset. 4-0 winners over UQ FC. And now we're out to Kippen Park for the all-capital two clash between Kangaroo Point Rovers and Western Spirit. And Kangaroo Point Rovers have also had to give up their home advantage because of flood lighting issues so this match being played at western spirits home ground it is the western spirit in attack now balls played for the back post and the spirit have the opener within the first five minutes matt taylor able to take advantage of a disorganized kpr defense and it's one nil here's kpr in attack now Back for Mo Gamble. Gamble again. And a great save there from the keeper, tipping it onto the bar. Spirit with the free kick. Oh, I think Kangaroo Point looked to take the opportunity there. Played back for the keeper. Straight into the path of Mo Gamble. Butler. Shots come in. From O'Toole and Kangaroo Point level it up on 25 minutes. Ian O'Toole, keeper looking for the offside call, not forthcoming. And we're back on level terms at one all. Throw in down the line. Kangaroo Point looking to go ahead here before the half. And it's a goal. Great goal there from Kangaroo Point. Clever little dink over the top. Damian Keeley picks it up just inside the box. And expertly puts it into the back of the net. And Kangaroo Point Rovers now lead 2-1. Corner comes in for the Spirit. Played towards the back post. Looking dangerous now. Mo Gamble clears across the line for Kangaroo Point. Long throw in. Kangaroo Point players not happy. Shot comes in. Beats Farquhar. And this topsy-turvy match continues. Dan Liddy. He's got Western Spirit now back to 
Western Spirit again looking to take the lead. They'll have the chance to do so through a corner. Well, oh, given away cheaply there. Gamble with the ball through. Shot comes in, finds the side netting. Played out by the keeper. Headed on by Noonan. Giorgio on for Mo Gamble. Just holds up the shot for a moment. Now it comes in. Off the woodwork. And Kangaroo Point take the lead again. Up 3-2 on 70 minutes. It's Juan Pablo Pilez who scores on this occasion. And Kangaroo Point, have they booked their spot in round five? Western Spirit will have something to say about that. Oh, great save there from Farquhar. Spirit still alive, though. And eventually the K KPR defence recovers. Dinking little ball over. And the shot over the bar. Corner comes in here from Kangaroo Point. O'Toole! Puts his shot over the bar. Surely not much time here. We're deep into this match. One final chance here for the Spirit. In fact, they're not going to get a chance. Referee Nathan Scott blows full time. And our Kangaroo Point Rovers on a similar cup run to last year with their giant killing ways. 3-2 winners over Western Spirit tonight. And now a look back at round four results where Bayside United were beaten at home 1-0 by Ipswich Knights as we've seen UQFC defeated 4-0 by Holland Park. Lions in a tight one over fellow Premier League side Brisbane Force 1-0. Kangaroo point 3-2 over Western Spirit. The Centenary Stormers will be the Capital 3 side that goes into round 5, defeating Virginia 4-3. Extra time needed between Wolves and East, as you'd expect, a tight one. Wolves eventually prevailing 4-2. Logan 5-0, easy winners over the gap. Capella Bar 3-0 over North Star. Roachdale 1-0 over Annerley. And Albany Creek had their chances, but it was a last-minute penalty the Peninsula that saw them through 3-2. And moving on to round five and some appetising matchups as the MPL sides enter the fray. An all-Ipswich derby with Ipswich Knights hosting the Western Pride. Capella Bar and Brisbane Strikers have had a partnership over the years, so it's interesting to see them match up. Rochdale Rovers will take on the high-flying Holland Park Hawks in what won't be an easy match for the Premier League side. This next one is shaping up as an absolute beauty. It's the teams that are leading both of their respective competitions, Redlands United versus Wolves. Kangaroo Point Rovers will have to overcome Peninsula Power this year to keep their cup dreams alive. Brisbane City hosts Logan FC. And in another tantalising top-of-the-table match from both of their leagues, Moreton Bay Jets will take on Lions FC. And the romance of the Cup is kept alive as Capital League 3 side Centenary Stormers host 2013 NPL Queensland champions Olympic FC.